Hi everybody, welcome to Dumpin' TV. Hey guys. Brought to you by Hobbit in Japan. This is episode 222. Triple deuce. Triple deuce, or 222, which reminds me of Pizza 222. Ooh. Call 222-2222. Do you remember that? No. Oh man, I thought you would because you're like from California, West Coast guy like me, and you're kind of my age. So maybe you saw that commercial when you were younger. Pizza 222. No, I don't remember. Yeah, I thought it was an American thing because pizza we got American two, two, TV two. where I was. But you dial 222, 2222, and you, you can get a pizza, get two pizzas. Uh, no, I remember Pizza Pizza. Little Caesars had the, yeah, yeah, the guy that would scream pizza. pizza Pizza. Yeah, that's, that's standard. So. No, if pizza. anybody out there remembers Pizza 222, call 222, 222. <laughs> yeah, please, just say please so. Please call so me. I'm not thinking that I'm remembering the wrong thing here. Like, this thing really existed to YouTube. All right. Was it Vancouver? No, I think it was an American thing because we got mostly uh, American television uh, channels uh, being right close to the border there. So mm. maybe, maybe Washington. Maybe, thing maybe it was a Canadian thing. North Either way, West. it existed. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> okay, now back to Gump TV. Mm. Uh, as you will notice, you're showing a frame arms, right? Yeah, we have frame and arms. We have some things here, and we're kind of conspicuously absent of uh, <laughs> Gump. Well, TV. well it's let the me beginning see of the if month. I can fix that. Actually, this is a, I was supposed to show this last week. Have you seen these? Ooh. Have you seen that? You That's that a is? great looking Gumpla. Yeah, no, I'm getting to there. <laughs> I'm getting there, all right? This is a little mini plastic model of a bonsai tree. Yeah. So of course, people who know what bonsai is, is you're, you're trimming and cutting these tiny trees into certain shapes, and it's a pretty, well, pretty uh, famous hobby uh, around the world not only in japan now and this so, one will be easier to maintain i think so because it doesn't grow <laughs> so uh, but you know what you might want to try to maintain it so i think they want to open this this case get out your hobby nippers can I open the case trim it with the god hands well, or something oh see it's got oh. screws on here. this it is what i was going to do because i was going to i was going to show for the sake of bringing a gundam on tv on gumpa tv got it i was going to have this guy you might recognize him <laughs> He's also he not. He looks a bit familiar. Yeah, he's not on your desk right now. Wait so a second. don't be surprised when you go back to your desk and he's not on there. So, <laughs> um, I was gonna say, let's take out the, let's take these little snippers and have Gundam <laughs> remake Full City do some bonsai Ooh, pruning. Oh, okay. There we go. So maybe I'll do that when I'm taking pictures for this episode. We'll get we'll get that action going. That would make a great Snip diorama. Snip a little bit here. Snip a little bit here. Oh yeah, entered into the uh, Gundam World Cup. One <laughs> Childers World Cup. Have your Gundam doing bonsai. <laughs> the bonsai diorama. So whoever does that, it wins. You owe me <laughs> ah, that idea. Yeah, so that's my plan. Thanks for the use of your full city. Yeah. Maybe I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It is a cool kit. It is a cool kit. Of course, the first oh. was the best. Yeah. Well, yeah. the first with the big green one, with him holding the scissors trimming it, that would look kind of cool. Yeah, well, you can do those kind of things. I'm going to put them over here. Don't worry, I'll return them to you when, when we're done here. When I'm done. All right, so now let's talk about model kits that we've, <gasps> we've talked about before, actually. Um, model kits, yeah, we had the we first We talked two. about these one-piece chopper things. Last week, I believe it was. Last episode. Yeah. So here they are. These are the ones that we've shown already. However, we also have some new ones. Check oh. it out. It is the, what are they calling this? The Super S Walk Hopper. It's okay, a so walk he's hopper, a walker. not a rock hopper. It's a walk hopper. There it is. Looks kind of like a cross between a kangaroo and a deer. So. Yeah, or That's an that. ostrich. All right. right, okay. And then we have the Super 3 Horn Dozer, right? A walk hopper. Super 5 Walk Hopper. Ooh, super, super 3 five. Horn Dozer. Yeah, maybe it looks like a rhino of some kind. Yeah. And. This last one is a Super 4 Kung Fu Chaser. Well, that's Ooh. my style. Kung Fu. Everybody, Everybody was Kung, Kung Fu fighting. Jinx, you owe me a Coke because we <laughs> said that exact same time. This is not choreographed or anything. If it was, I would have said, no, we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, so what we want to do, we mentioned this last time, is that um, all these can kind of go together and, yes. and make one giant chopper type of thing. So uh, we're going to do it. Okay. I haven't shown this kind of thing. So. It'd be like those transformer kits where you combine them all and make yeah. the giant one. Yes, um, Devastator, right? Mm -hmm. Devastator. There's a few. All the constructor cons. I had the constructor cons. Uh, that was the light green ones. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. And also the insecticons. I think they they did as well. Oh. I had the okay. bill and the grasshopper. Those are good times. Good times. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask you to do the biggest one because I've still got a super science space pod that I have to show next week. Oh, that's right. And which means that we have to split up the remaining here. So. Okay. 
All right. I get the hat. The hat. I kind of want the rock hopper. What about you, Todd? Is that one you're gonna want? Well, let's. You end up building three of these, and I end up building two. I guess let so. me. You're taking the leg, so let me take uh, the neck. Okay. Then I'm I'm taking kung fu because it's kung fu, which means you're getting this rhino thing. So there you All go. All right. They have been rationed out. Next week on Gumball TV, we're gonna be what chop, are chop, chopping. These fights, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm excited. Yeah. It's fun to have these little <laughs> tasks and whatnot. Okay. Now. Uh, you were you asked. Want? No, I'll take it back. You were asked to build a certain thing for this episode. I was. Do you have it done? I do. Okay. The frame arms. All right. Let's. Uh, let's take a look, shall let's we? Take a look. All right, so here we have a frame arms kit. Yeah. And for me, this is actually the first time that I have ever assembled one of these Kotobukiya frame arms kits. Mm -hmm. This is a 1 100 scale full action plastic model kit, the GX25F G Dao, and this is number 32 in their <laughs> frame arms series. 32, that's just getting crazy. I remember 32. the first one. <laughs> when was the first one? Uh, years ago now, because we showed it on Gumba TV, and then we came back a little while later and showed... And man, what number was that? 15 or something. It's just oh, they okay. keep getting bigger and more advanced. Or, yeah. All so right. This is the, the latest and greatest here. The latest and greatest. So what I have done is, so you guys can see, part of the appeal of these frame arm kits, and that's part of the name too, is... Mm -hmm that they come with these frames that are fully assembled. So if I had just covered it all up with armor, you guys wouldn't get a chance to see mm -hmm. that frame in there. So I decided to leave half of his armor off so you guys can see both with the armor and without. I could do like a cover, ta-da. Oh. There's with armor, <laughs> without. <Okay. laughs> So yeah, but, all right, so where should I begin with this kit, really? Okay. All right, well, let me talk about first looking at the, the frame, because that's the first thing that you start off with. And for me, just something I, that kind of was, I guess it's a nitpick, a nitpick for me, you could say, is when they cut off this frame from their runners, whatever machine they use to cut it off, it leaves numb marks all over <laughs> All over the frame, and that just kind of gets to me. Yeah, you gotta fix that. I, I <laughs> take that frame apart. <laughs> uh, I would have to, but part of the problem also is is that the they they kind of whatever tool they use, it kind of sometimes it gouges in a little bit to cut off these parts. So if you want to have it nice and smooth, you might need to. Well, you're gonna have to sand it down so yeah, it's smooth or just whatnot. Like what you would do with other kits. But that's okay because it's supposed to be covered up by the armor anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Except in this arm here where it's still kind of just <laughs> No model kit is perfect. Remember that. No model, no kit, model kit is, is perfect. perfect. So, well, the, on the plus side, you don't have to deal with assembling the frame. There you go. Because it's already assembled for you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that exciting? And I think it does have kind of, it has a nice, neat look to it. We get so used to looking at the standard Gundam kits, kind of. So yeah. it is nice to see some, have something different mm -hmm. once in a while. With a new shape head, look at that. And some new colors, kind of stuff we wouldn't see normally on a Gundam kit. Now, speaking of the colors, there is one difference from Gundam kits is... There was no stickers included with this kit. Okay. I'm not sure if any of the previous uh, frame arm stuff has ever included stickers or decals or whatnot. Yeah, but Kotobuki in general many times kind of really thinks that you're going to be going there with paint afterwards. Uh, yeah. Like a real model kit. Yeah. And you're going to recolor it. So if you're not a big fan of stickers, that's a nice big plus for you also because yeah. they give you actual plastic pieces molded in the right color that you are going to need. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess since this is not a normal Gundam kit, the articulation is going to be a little bit different. Usually I don't like going into articulation too much, but I just kind of wanted to give you a quick rundown of what this kit can and can't do. The head is just on a single, a single ball joint. And okay. as you can tell, as you can tell, 
there's not going to be a whole lot of movement. The arm has, you can kind of move it up, but the shoulder is <laughs> going to shoulder. kind of prevent you from reaching up all the way. Yeah. And you can, of course, reach the arm forward. So This happens almost with any kit, like Gundams as well, because as soon as you start putting the armor on it, it's going to limit the articulation yeah you are unless you get some of the like the build burning where they yeah like part of the the whole thing with the build burning was that it had fantastic articulation they show it in all these crazy jigen how poses yeah so this one is a little bit a little bit more limited compared to sometimes what you see the leg the hip i better to show you on this side the hip does not swivel at all you're just kind of going to mm -hmm. get forward and back but if you want to pose it out, you're going to have that, uh, what would you call that, an upper thigh joint? <laughs> yeah, something I can't really do. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't do this. But you get, also you can see all over this frame you have these, these holes, and these are what you're going to use to connect the armor pieces. And, whoops, let me plug his leg back in there. So the armor that comes with this kit is a certain certain pegs to be able to plug it in but I have I've never built one of the frame arms before but I hear part of the appeal is that you're able to take different armor pieces from different kits yep. and you're able to mix and match because yep. they all kind of share these uh, common frames yeah so if you want you can buy a couple different ones and you can come up with some crazy whole new creations mm -hmm. so that is that in itself is kind of a, a cool nifty nifty idea that you can do with these kits. Whoops, I keep pulling his leg out. Sorry, stay in there. <laughs> there we go. All right, so, yeah, you just got a normal knee joint. He can bend back without oh, the armor. Yeah. And the, the foot, although this foot, I think, might be specific for this kit because it has you pull off. Yeah, they, the part. they're doing that now. So, I don't know if you might need to play around with it if you want to mix around and try to use different feet. He's got some really thick looking leg gear going on with this guy. Some Need big some armor. Legs, some nice armor. He's ready to get his kick on. <laughs> there we go. All okay. right, so let's take a look, shall we, with at the weapons and also hands. Let me start off with hands first. So I haven't seen this style design for a while. I know Gundam kits used to come with this straight peg. Oh, uh, okay. The straight peg that goes into just a regular poly cap. We used to get the old HG kits used to do this, mm -hmm. but they switched. Bandai now has that uh, a ball joint on the end of the hand, so you get a little bit more action. But with this hand, you kind of you can go up and down, but you're not able to pivot or pull forward mm -hmm. or back or whatnot. But you can you can do a nice white wave like hey guys. <laughs> So that's it for the hand and the gun. With this kit, you get one gun, and for the sight, there's an actual, an actual color piece that plugs in there. So you get a little bit of uh, color separation on the gun. But as far as the gun itself goes, you have uh, the barrel which plugs into the front, but it's basically just two pieces that sandwich mm -hmm. together. A little Gundam does yeah. does that a lot too. You also get a shield, which is kind of oh, that's cool. Nice. Reminds me of the Kshatriya. Yeah, was that, I'm trying to think. I was building this shield, and I was like, what does this remind me of? And it's the <laughs> Kshatriya. That's what it was. You, yeah. I remember now. But I couldn't think of it when I was building. Like, what does this remind me of? <laughs> I know it's something. I've built something almost identical. Whoops, there goes the leg again. Stay in there. All right, so. Ah, no, what am I doing? He's getting heavy. He's, He's getting, getting heavy. heavy. And there goes the leg again. I just it's keep an interesting out. connection. Yeah, yeah. It, it has this H. So that's something also I kind of wanted to point out. There's different levels here too. So I have it just kind of in the middle. But I guess if you wanted to have the legs a bit lower, you could plug it into yeah. the lower one. Or if you wanted to give them kind of more short legs, you could play, plug it into the high. Yeah. But his waist guard there yeah. is kind of going to pre prevent you from plugging it mm -hmm. in. Plugging it into that slot. All right, so one more thing. Why am I not getting him to stand anymore? Maybe the legs aren't the same length. <laughs> they're, they're not. Did I do something? Whoops. All right, so I wanted to show you guys the manual. So, whoa, are we able to get that there? Yeah. yeah. 
So the manual, it's kind of, if you built the Gundam kits before, this is really similar stuff to what you've seen with that. It's a similar, pretty similar layout, but on the back of it, they give you this, and I thought this was kind of cool. There's the color guide at the top, but maybe you don't want to build this with the standard colors. So what you could do is, they have this black and white line art drawing, so if you were to take this and go to a photocopy machine, mm -hmm. then you could just do a scan, and if you wanted to make it pink and purple and white, then take your color pencils and you can color it and use that as a guide for taking this kit and painting it yourself, mm -hmm. which I thought would be just kind of a cool idea. If only all kits had that, it'd yeah. be fun. Sometimes it's hard to find line art for Gundams. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Um, sometimes they used to sell like books, separate books, yeah. Gundam mechanic books that had that stuff in it, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen that lately that I remember. Here's my the Gujan remake, full city, not half city. It's the full city. Just I also kind of wanted to show you guys a size comparison so you can see, because this Kotobukiya is 1 one hundredth scale, but as far as the size goes, he's just a tad bit bigger than the HG kit, so... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing if I were to have a 1 100 scale full mechanics version of this guy, he's going to be much taller. But you yeah. guys get the idea. You can have a look. It's a pretty interesting kit if you like to have try something different from the usual Gundam. I recommend it. Everybody should build at least one frame arms just to see, just to give it a go. All right, so I'm going to take it home and I'm going to finish putting the rest of the armor on. Yeah, well you can finish painting it up or whatever else you want to do with those yeah. crazy things. Paint it hot pink. Well, I think you should, you know, get another frame arms and just start swapping them. Oh, Point that's them, right. right. Yeah. Combine the armors. There you go. You never know. Yeah. Um, okay, well, you know what? It's my turn. Thank you, Ta. Wait, frame it's your cool. turn? Yeah. Just remember this? Oh! It's easy to forget sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it is the newest uh, grunt suit off of... Uh, yeah, yeah, so Vibio two, a Julia new graze. Regular lace. It's not. A, it's not a graze. It's a regular lace. <laughs> it's a regular 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 lace. So I wonder yeah. how many grazes is, is this now? This is not a graze. I just <laughs> told you, it's a regular lace. It's basically a graze. No, it's not. Look, even the runners don't say graze. They say regular lace. Oh, well, the big point. With a new frame. That's yeah, not a graze frame either. It's called. This is the the mobile Reagan lace. <laughs> that's what that is. All right, but and I the need... frames. This is the weapon right. of runner. You need to see the frame. The frame. Here's the frame for the B, and it says Reagan lace frame. Oh, I told snap. you. Snap! I told you. It is not it's a graze. New. That it looks like a graze. Looks can be seen, Todd. So anyway. I'm going to uh, get into just exactly what this guy this or girl is new. can do. All right, here it is. This is the Reagan Lays, not the Grays, the Reagan Lays, which belongs to uh, Julietta. Actually, I think Julietta's got a picture right here. Yeah. Also, Julietta. Hey, Julietta. She's a new one for the yeah, season. I'm, uh, I'm digging your, your suit here, kind of. Um, even though, like I explained, all the runners say, you know, Reagan Lays and not Grays, um, it goes together pretty much like a Grays with some differences. So, uh, you know, the torso frame and assembly is much the same. The head is much the same, although this piece here, which looks like a collar, is actually part of the head. Mm. Um, the backpack thrusters here, um, they have uh, this thruster here. It can rotate this way and these can rotate whichever way, Ooh. which is okay for flying around. Um, it does take stickers in the same areas that the other Grays kits did as well. Um, the side skirts construction and the shoulder construction seems to be a little bit different here because they're giving you this, this piece here. And I can't recall if, if this piece is something we saw on the Grays. No, I don't remember it. And you can see it's actually kind of hooked on in there. Ah, uh, so okay. So it will rest there and it will move a little bit as you start moving those arms around and you're just kind of plugging this in. And the size is very similar to that as well. But you're just just slapping these side armor parts on here. So get that on there. Now, um, the feet, it seemed to me, were different. And if I can kind of show you, I will. So um, you actually create this kind of joint here. Ooh, and okay. this thing will move out of the way depending on whether you need it or not. So you can, it'll go up to here max and then it will, this will go here. Okay, so this doesn't need to move, even though you have the ability to do so. <laughs> I thought 
maybe I'd be bending this all the way down and this would move to accommodate that, but mm. it doesn't. It just goes on there. So maybe if you get on some pretty marshy ground and you need, need more weight distribution, like snowshoes, mm. that'll go down for you like that. I'm not sure kind of why they did that. Uh, but it does have, you know, the same kind of articulation we've seen in the IBO frames so far. So he can do a lot of good poses, a lot of cool poses. Um, now, this one part I wanted to show everybody here. Uh, what makes it l maybe a little bit different from what we're used to has to be the weapons. And you can see I've got this little claw thing on here. And they're not meant to be on all the time. It Whoa. says at the end of the manual you can put them on. But when you're building this and you see this connection, you think, wait, am I missing a piece? Am I missing a piece? But it's not till the very end of the manual when it says, hey, you also have these weapons, then you can just kind of plug them in here. Uh, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I thought I missed something. Um, the forearms will rotate around. They actually can come right off. But check out this hand design. Oh. This hand design is... Uh, What's going on with that? Yeah, it is. I'll try and show you. Here we go. This, this is a hand piece. <laughs> That's the piece for the hand. Huh. And this is the back of the hand. So basically by plugging this in here with this single rod here, it can rotate like this. That's interesting. It is. And then the, the whole cuff rotates around to give you the, the sideways motion. So you're only going like this. That's new. That's new. So I guess I can put the rifle on. Now the rifle is very much like the Gray's rifle where you have these extra parts that you put on after you get it in its hands. So let's do that. Whoop. Ah, well, you know, it's meant to come off. Yeah, how do those new hands work with holding the rifle? Well, we're going to find out. I think it's no different, really. I think it'll be just the same. Plug it in. Boop, look, there's my rifle. So, so far, that's very similar to the grazes when it comes to the weapon there. But we do have some new things here. So let me bring them out. Here's one of them. Look at this, like, spike. Ooh, like okay. Spike. And, uh, Gotta have some kind of melee weapon. You have a second one, right? And uh, the way you get these in the hand is to actually, you have to take it apart here, run it through the, the hand piece, right? And then you can put it all back together here. So if, let me do so. Let me find it here. Put that back together, slide this part in here, and there I go, I got my spike. But also, you can, of course, put it in the other way if you want to. Once you get this on here, oh, maybe turn this down. You have to uh, put the the armor cover on. Oh, okay. The handguard cover. Yay! So I'm gonna just I'm gonna stab you, man. I'm gonna <laughs> stab you. I'll cut you, man. Just walk up to somebody and shiv them. Okay. Um, you can do this as well, and I'm not gonna do it too much because I never really like this kind of gimmick. But you can take off this little claw, this very very tiny little claw. And you have, of course, this little wire, which seems to be coming more and more in these, these kind of kits. And you can plug it into here if you line it up right. It's not always the easiest thing to do because it's, it's hollow in there. Uh, so I've got all this like movement in here. It's not just a, easily able to slide down into that tiny hole at the end of the chamber here. So whether I get it in or not, is, I don't know. I cannot see it because it's so deep in there. All right. No. Nope. Well, almost. Let's let's fake it. <laughs> just pinch it, hold it in. Maybe just, maybe just yeah. Maybe just you know, kind of double it up. So take there the space. you go. This is how we do it here. <laughs> Solving problems on the spot. If I've done it correctly. No. <gasps> Damn you, panda. Let's just say that. Okay, there so you we can go. have them hold like this. Shoot out that little thing there. Yay! Go, go, go. I guess her. I have to say her. Julieta. I made him, I made her a commander. I don't know if she's a commander or not, but she's a commander. I think she is yeah. kind of. There you go. And now I can have her like flying away. Of course, you get a lot of great articulation in this kit. So. Yeah. There she goes. Julia is coming, guys. All right, there you go. Julia's nice. regular lace. Not a gray, not a gray lace. 
You better right. regulate. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Much better than that joke you just said. <laughs> um, yeah. Reagan Lays. I can, I can understand why you thought it was a graze. It does. It looks like a graze. It, 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 assembly is very much so like a graze, especially in the frame and everything else. But as mm. I showed you, the runners are all new, mm. I guess you could say. So I'm sure we're going to see like several more of these type of kits coming uh, down the line. Super Reagan Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, we're supposed to get the new list of March Gunpla releases. Is it March already? Today? No. January. January? I think oh, I'm January. getting too far ahead of myself. We're supposed to get the January announcements today. Mm. So we're waiting for those. We would announce them on the show here right now, but then that was a little late. Sorry. So next week. Mm. But here we are. I'm sure we might see a Reagan Lays in there. Yeah, Along maybe. With somebody else, maybe. With a new color. Yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, you know, play around with this guy some more back when I get him back at home. And uh, for now... Let's do the, uh, the comments. Ooh, the comments. Okay. Let's see what we have okay. for the comments. I have comments too, but oh. I'm just, just going to get ready. Okay. You getting ready? All okay. right. Can I, be, can I begin? No. Yes. What? All right. Let's start with the first comment by yeah. Black Lotus. Okay. Is that from Magic the Gathering, that Black Lotus card? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So Black Lotus says... Thank you for the heads up on the Rebake Full City. There you go. That's what we did. Yeah. We gave people the heads up on the Rebake Full, full City's head. Mm. I like that pun. <laughs> and he put quotation marks around it, so I had it. Yeah, you got, just got those heads up. Yeah. All right. Let's All right. move on. Yeah. AJ. Mm -hmm. AJ says, thank you for telling us about the part number errors on the Gujan Rebake Full C manual. There you go. I have one coming my way from the private warehouse, LOL. Okay. So I am, stuck. yep, I am relieved by the fact that the option set five has a gun for the full city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It has that uh, sniper gun. They showed him in the anime firing a gun, but yeah. he doesn't have one in the kit. Yeah, you gotta get the options. P.S. Whoever named it Gujan Rebake Full City, they must have been like that PPAP guy. <laughs> I have Gujan Rebake. I have Full City. Ugh. <laughs> Gujan Rebake Full City. I was going to say, do you know who that guy is? Dang. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny to me. <laughs> yeah, I laughed when I read that comment. I put this away oh, and stuff like that. That's really it. popular right now. It's stupid, <laughs> stupid, super popular. And the, uh, in Japanese television, they have something a uh, television show every Friday night called Music Station or mm. M State, where the, they talk. Well, it's basically you know AKB and Exile every week. But this last week they had that guy on there Ooh. because he was so popular. Pico. Yeah. Pico. Pico or whatever his name is. Pico Ta. Oh. And. and uh, he was doing what they call the long version. Ooh, oh, yeah, of that that's, song. that's a recent thing. It's like yeah. two and a half minutes. Yeah, exactly. But it's like the same thing, like and he's got a dance seconds. in the middle. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Don't try to show, pretend that you don't know what this stuff is, dog. <laughs> this ridiculous mess. PPAP. PPAP. I hate it, by the way. I hate it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you are. I have a rebake. Yeah, I have a Gujian rebake. I have a full city. Mm. Fusion Rebake, Full City. I think that's what Bandai does when they're sitting <laughs> in the office. I have the, the Graze frame. I have some pink armor. Boom! I have a pink Maybe Graze. Go. Maybe they just got like a big wall of English words and they have like darts and <laughs> yeah. they take turns Sproder. throwing darts. Yeah. Full City! All right. <laughs> you know, there's some Japanese music bands that do that. I'm sure of it. Oh. Like Bump of Chicken. That's uh, the name of the band. Bump, Bump of, of Chicken. chicken. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Or kiss my foot. Kiss my foot too. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's move on. Yeah. Mr. Mecca. Okay. Mr. Mecca says, Gunpla TV is a lot like Disneyland. They make dreams come true. Well. I used to work at I Disneyland. I was going to say, do you want to say that? <laughs> Coincidence? I don't mind. Coincidence? Coincidence? I spent five years working at the happiest place on earth. You, didn't, so. you don't seem to sound very happy when you talk about it. Oh, it was great memories. Well, that's just a job, right? So. Yeah, it's just a job, but I was an attractions host, so yeah. I got to do the fun stuff. I got to work the rides. We don't call it rides, though, they're attractions. Attractions, yeah. 
It was very yeah. exciting. I bet it was. It was probably the best first job that somebody could ever Oh, asked I guess it was the first job. It was my very first job. So I would go to, in the morning, I would go to high school, mm -hmm. and then I would drive like 45 minutes to get to the park, and I'd work till 10 o'clock at night. And do the same thing all over again the next day. Does it sound day. like it's the happiest <laughs> time of your life and the happiest place on earth? It was fun. Yeah. You know, Disneyland is great super people. popular in Japan. It you is. Know, ridiculous popular. You'll meet 40-year-old women. You know, mm. like, oh, what are you doing this week? I'm going to Disneyland. Right. I'm like, oh, you're going to Disneyland? You're taking your cousins? No, I'm going no, to I'm Disneyland going to with Disneyland. my friends. Oh, do you like Disneyland? I go every third weekend. Yeah, it gets they've got crazy. the annual pass. Yeah, they get all dressed up and they carry their giant yeah. uh, stuffed Duffy bears. Yeah, yeah, it's over the top, just like everything else in this country. Mm. Okay, <laughs> carry on, ex Disneyland employee. Yep, make your dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving on to okay. G M M M or G. -m -m. <laughs> uh oh, horror yeah. story. The aftermath. Oh, hold on. This is the same one from last last week where he talked about his horror story for Halloween. Maybe. Maybe. Well, Maybe. Okay, sorry to interrupt you. Please carry on. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Yeah. Since Sid wanted to know about how the end product looked like, mm. yeah, not great. <laughs> Nub marks is an understatement. I call these runner marks. <laughs> I can probably shave off enough extra material off this one one hundredth to make a one one forty fourth. Oh, okay. And there's there's an Imgur link, so he's sending there images. There is a link. I'm gonna contact this guy and see if we can share those images on Gumble TV. Okay. Because you know, maybe people will want to see the <laughs> the craziness that is the the horror story. Mm. For those who don't know, you had to watch last week's episode, but this guy, the first time he built a model kit, he didn't know he needed tools and he had no side cutters, so he was pulling parts off by hand. Right. And this is the older kits that don't have the tiny gate marks and things like right, that. Right, right. Yeah. Well, sometimes those gate marks are on the back side where you have to connect the parts together, so yes. I wonder how that worked. Sometimes they might not have gone together. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're just hanging off. Maybe. It's worth looking Rubber at Rubber band it. around the arm, mm -hmm. yeah, holding it together. in place. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll contact the guy and see if we can show it. Okay. Goom, Goom, you have a message coming. Yeah, please check your private messages. Okay, um, my turn then. Remember, we were giving away two, two kits. Let's start Ooh, with this one. Oh, that's right. It was Thunderbolt. It's Thunderbolt week. week, yeah. I'm gearing up for that Zaku. Uh, this goes to comment number 77. 77. It's a savvy lord. And he says, damn, I would like one of those kits. Help me, Harambe. Okay, I guess Harambe did step Harambe. up to the plate here because this guy has won the Thunderbolt GM. The spirit of Harambe is with you. <laughs> That's right. Pray to Harambe. Okay, so the next one, the big gun. Ooh. This is cool. This is cool. I like them big ones. Yeah, I know you do. This goes to comment number 29, and it goes Frankenstein 42. And he says, here's hoping they make an FM 1100 Gucci and Rebake full city mm. with a li few less stickers and a few more cannons cool. also dibs on the thunderbolt kids kids Ooh. dibs work right dibs do indeed work the dibs do work <laughs> this this time anyway next week everybody's gonna be like, dibs, 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 dibs 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 no you no. just got lucky that's right you, you had lucky. some lucky dibs <laughs> that's right frankenstein and sasabi lord it's your lucky day yep. i'll be contacting you via the private message function on hobby link tv mm. and then you'll have to give me your details there you go um can you move those over there and I'll bring out the next one? You betcha. Keeping this piece of paper for reference. Okay. <clears throat> this next one. Ooh. Yeah, we were talking about frame arms kits and Kotobuki stuff. Yeah. And giving away a Bumblebee and an Aoshima and things yeah, like that. Yeah, we've had a couple Kotobuki um, stuff. Way back in the day, we talked about these Armored Core, or Super Robot Wars, sorry. Super Robot Wars um, kits from Kotobuki. And I do have the... What's this guy's name? The Psy Baster. There's two versions of him, but I think that's the first one. The Psy the Baster. Baster. And remember, he has these crazy wings. Look at these things. Ooh. It's like Nightingale type stuff right there. Right. Yeah, so uh, I actually tried to give this away once. Really? Years ago. And the person who won it never responded. Oh. And uh, I, <laughs> I waited. And I checked in, but nope. Never happened. So now somebody else is going to win this giant guy. Mm. So... Todd, why don't you tell people how they can enter to win a right. Cybaster kit? 
Cybaster. So yeah. if you would like to win the Cybaster, you should. This please cool. go to hobbylink.tv and yeah. find episode 222. And post a comment. Right now. Dibs. Dibs yeah. or pray to the spirit of Harambe. <laughs> Harambe's dibs, I don't know. Pray to the lucky number or the number random, random number, number generator gods That's right. that you will win. Yeah. RNG gods, please let me win. There you go. Okay. So um as I said, we're getting the info for the new Gundam kits for January. Right, yeah. they should be coming in. They should be coming in in, in an hour, day. two hours. And then once we get that information, it goes up on a website. So the next time we film Gundam TV, we will be able to share it. Yes. And then uh, we have new kits coming. New kits, I that's think right. we have the Revive Strike week? Freedom. Was that this week? Was that this week? They're coming. We have the, we're starting to gear up. I think we have the Bawu coming, but it might be the end of the ah, month. Ah, yeah, Bawu is there. later in the month. Yeah, but they are coming this month. There's, I thought there was a couple of HGs coming. Of this course, week. there's a couple of HGs coming this month. The Vidar, I think that's coming. Ooh. All right. So, uh, anyway, we'll have one more episode where we're going to be showing these types of things, and then we have Gumpla Expo, Ooh. and it's a Saturday this week, this year, and not a Thursday. So I got to get up even earlier and line mm. up even longer. Pretty exciting. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day. <laughs> so I think Saturday the 19th, mm. Japan time, that video will be up on our YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it would be, you know, Saturday morning most places around the world. That's true, yeah. Friday evening, so look forward to that. And then uh, we're going to see all the crazy stuff. Yeah. In the Gumpla Expo. Some, yeah. Maybe some surprises coming at the so. Expo. I hope so. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, and then, of course, with the new Gundam kits coming this month and next month, we're going to have a lot of Gunplay to show in the coming weeks as well. Okay? All right, so next week we got some chopper stuff to show you. Okay, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Yeah, you made me say it. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> See you guys later.